Good afternoon. I am Mrs. Karen Vishwanath, Principal of CSI UWAT Global School, situated at Purushwakam, Chennai. Uh, we are affiliated to the CBSC Board. Our affiliation number is 19312200 and our school number is 56172. I warmly welcome our CBSC Inspection IC members, Mrs. Niraj Beniwal, Principal of SJ Public School, Jaipur, and Ms. Anita Gupta, Principal of Raman Munjal Vidya Mandir, Haryana. And also the other CBSC members who are watching this inspection. We now take you on our virtual tour. We begin with our main gate. This is our main entrance. You can see our main board. And this is our main gate. We are entering into our temple of learning. This is our security guard who keeps a watch and entry of all the visitors to our school. This is our entrance. Now entering my room. Welcome IC members to my room. This is where we, I monitor the entire working and functioning of the classrooms. Some of the beautiful artwork of our students, really eye-catching and mesmerizing. This is our investiture ceremony where our leaders are vested with their badge of office. Our vision and mission board of CSI Ward Global School is placed both outside and inside reminding our students of the vision and mission of the school. CSIE Ward Global School, our founder is the Right Reverend Dr. J. George Stephen, Bishop and Manager of the Dyson Schools. Our correspondent is Dr. G. K. Francis. And I am the principal, Mrs. Karen Vishwanath. This is our play area where the children expel their energy, enjoy the fresh air and get back to class. That is our parking area where our staff park their vehicles. We now enter into our shuttle court. This is our shuttle court. This is our PT teacher. Please introduce yourself. I am Tana Bakhtiyan, physical education teacher. This is for shuttle court. Yeah, now we proceed. We go on to our tenicoid court. This is our tenicoid court. Moving on. Coming on to our assembly area, our open air auditorium, our stage where we conduct our open air assembly.
we now move on to our volleyball court this is our volleyball court where students take part in matches between the different houses moving on from the volleyball court we go on to our basketball court this is a basketball court where both the staff and the students take part in various matches proceeding further at the end of the basketball court is the play area for the primary students this is the play area for our primary students where they relax and enjoy themselves as we move on this is our boundary wall this is our boundary wall and that is also our boundary wall these are our boundary walls boundary wall This is the rear side of our building. This is the kitchen garden. Kitchen garden maintained by our eco club students who take much interest in watering the plants. not only in school but also near their houses after the volleyball throw ball matches and play the students come here to refresh themselves we have good clean drinking water purified by our ro plant drinking water and that is our hand wash and this is the hand wash place where the children moving on from the rear side of our building we enter our building main building these are the precautions in case of any fire put up this is the board where precautions are put up for the students and for the staff to take precaution in case of any fire we move on our kg classes we begin with our jkg good afternoon this is the jkg teacher 
please introduce yourself. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am Mrs. Sangeeta. I am handling JKG. Thank, Thank you, you, Sangeeta. Thank you, ma'am. Today is a half a day. The children have gone home. Yes, ma'am. But this is their classroom. You can see the artistic work. All the classrooms are air conditioned. We have smart boards in each classroom. We have CCTVs in each classroom. All the classrooms are air conditioned for the benefit of the students. Very well done, Ms. Sangeeta. Thank you. These are all the artwork of our teachers, our kindergarten teachers, where they celebrate Blue Day and the various colors teaching the children the significance of the various colors and to identify objects belonging to the various colors. There is much fanfare during the various colors day, red, blue, green celebrated. We now move on to our pre-KG classes. This is our pre-KG class. The class teacher, please introduce yourself. Pre-KG class, very colorfully decorated. Very informative. There's a small little play area for the children in the class indoor games. Flashcards, they have flashcards teaching the children. Thank you, Ms. Eljiva. We move on to our SKG class. This is a little artwork done by the teachers and the students. You can have a look at it on our board. Every week they keep changing the artwork done by the students and the teachers. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon. This is our SKG class, and that is our teacher. Now you can introduce yourself. Good afternoon, everyone. I am uh, Mrs. Nia Kundagarden. And today, the children are going to listen to the rhyme, The Wheels of the Bus Go Round and Round. Children, please sit up. Sit up. Are you playing? You will all sing along with us, okay? Wheels on the Bus. With action, okay? Yes. How does the wheels of the bus go round? Wheels of the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of the bus go round and round, all to the town. The wheels on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Thank you, children. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very beautifully decorated. Thank you, Miss Tina. Thank you. We now proceed to our primary classes. This is grade one. Good afternoon, good afternoon children. Nice to see you all. Good afternoon. So this is the teacher. Please introduce yourself. So just take all that part.
so these are all the things on the pin-up boards which the children learn. Thank you, Miss Helen. Our children are taught the national symbols. It's put up on the chart. A lot of informative and general knowledge is put up on the charts. It is changed every week, updating the children of the current events. Here we have our ladies' toilet. Moving on to our wash area. The water, free flowing water. We have a soap, a towel for the children, instructions given to the children how to wash their hands, instructions given to the children not to waste water. And these are the toilets. We proceed now. These are our fire extinguishers. We have two to three fire extinguishers on each floor. This is our water hose. This is our electric junction box. These are some of the paintings, drawings and colorings of our student, of all our students put up. Again our fire extinguishers, our water hose pipe. In each floor we have drinking water. This is the girls toilet. Here again instructions put up. This is another set of toilets for our girls. These are all our toilets. This thing. We ensure that the students maintain the toilets well. In the sofa. We have water, our taps running with water. We hand uh, hand showers. This is the handwork of our students.
This is grade two. Good afternoon, students. This is the second standard class teacher. Can you introduce yourself, please? Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, IC members. Myself, I am I am grade two teacher and handling maths. This is some of their projects done by the students. The various activities where the students do it themselves and learn various aspects. The classroom is well decorated, very colorful, very informative and children enjoy being in their class and learn much by doing. Thank you, Ms. Pramila. We now proceed to grade 3. This is the third standard class teacher. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yes, good afternoon, ma'am. I am uh, Miss Christina Catherine. I am doing my uh, beauty assistant here. And I am also teaching science. Thank you. So we were just learning about uh, living and non-living things. Okay. Please be seated, children. These are all the activities done by the children. Do it themselves. And they learn while doing. Side, huh? Yeah. So, right hand on the table. Don't stand it on the table. Okay? Right on the table. Now, right hand on the right side. Left. Right. Left. Right hand up again. Left hand out. Can you keep, keep your right hand on your left hand? Now, just give it a little press. Are you able to feel it? So thank you, Ms. Christina. That was a nice uh, example given to the students about living and non-living things. Thank you. Thank you, students. We now move on to grade 4. This is Mrs. Diana who teaches maths. Good, good afternoon, children. These are the various activities done by the students. Can any one child explain? So this is Jessra who will just give a brief in.
Thank you, Jasra, for giving a brief introduction about the Himalayas. Thank you, dear. Now we go on to it. Please introduce yourself and explain your project. Today I'm going to be talking about teeth. Louder. Teeth is an important part of our body. It Where is, is the teeth? Hold it out. Tool. It is the tool used Take it in your hand. Can you have it? Show. It oh. is the tool used to chew and grind food. These are the four different types of teeth. Thank you. Well done. These are all the projects made by the children. This is made of clay. Well done, dear. These are all digestive system. Okay. Yes, we have another student here who is going to quickly explain about the digestive system. Well done. There are all the other projects done by the children, the charts. We encourage the children to do a lot of activities as required by the CBSC and also to enrich their knowledge. Every class is air conditioned. We have our smart boards. We have our CCTV cameras. The children learn in comfort. And we see that the children are not stressed out. They are stress-free. Thank you, Miss Diana. We now move on to the next grade, grade 5. This is grade 5. Can you introduce yourself, ma'am?
So this is grade 5 and all the activities, charts, projects done by our students. Well done. So this is also the digestive system. I think this is also a working model. So you can see the students taking much interest. The primary section, Charlie's daily dose of sunshine. Can you just give me a brief summary of what is the content of the lesson? Please be seated children. Okay, this story is all about a young uh, lady who found a baby raven okay, in the park. Okay? Now, we are going to study about this uh, story. We are going to go deep. Before we move on to the story, I will show you certain things. Okay? So, can you tell me what is this? A bird feeder. A bird feeder used to feed the birds. Okay, what is this? A bird feeder. Can you tell me what it is made up of? Egg holder, okay. This is made up of egg holders. Okay, now what is this? A nest, okay. Now, can you guess? We, I showed you all these things, a bird feeder nest. What we are going to learn about today? Can you guess? Birds, yes. Now, today we are going to learn about birds, okay. How to take care of the birds. Usually, we know that we all live in home, okay. Now, like that, animals and birds, they also need a place to live in okay now how many of you have pet animals and birds at home you all have what 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 is the pet uh, animal you have at home yes joshna fish elena cat. cat okay how do you take care of your pet animals and birds do you name them do you give any name to them do you name them do you play with them do you spend some time with them how do you find when you spend some time with them? Is it really happy? Or how do you find? You really find you, that brings you really joy, no? Isn't it? Now I'll show you a picture. Can you tell me what is that? What is this picture all about? A crow. And what is the other one? Raven. You know the difference between a crow and a raven? Yes, see this is, uh, uh, this is, a uh, raven is fully dark black in color, okay. Here, whereas this is slightly dark in color and can you see the beak? Can you see the beak? This is slightly short. This is long and thick, okay. And even the shelf life of the raven is more when compared to the shelf life of a crow. Now, in this lesson, the first word is Charlie, okay. Now, I told you a lady found a baby raven in a park okay now the name of the baby raven as soon as she took the raven to home she named it as charlie so whose name is charlie here raven. yes the name of a raven how many of you like to really have a crow as a pet a bird or animal you all like to have crow as a pet bird huh? huh no one likes to really no one likes to have a crow as a 
pet bird, isn't it? Okay, but here in this lesson, this person in the lesson, the narrator of the lesson is really a kind-hearted lady who is full of love, who is who is really taking care of the unwanted. Uh, animals and birds left alone without any shelter okay so now this is a orphan bird okay now can you see this one i'll show you now this is a orphan but orphan means what they no one to help isn't it now everyone we need a place to stay isn't it like that here also we know that different animals and birds they need some place to live or stay isn't it now here can you uh, i just uh, i don't know can you come and uh, which is the home for the dog can you press here can i press press the button yes so which is the home for the dog here can yes now for the horse stable yes yes ruth come home for the cat press press Yes, for a cow. Shed. Shed. Okay. So now each like how we all need a shelter. We we all need a place to stay like that. Even the animals and birds they need a place to stay. Okay. So need these are the uh, homes for the animals, isn't it? So for dog, what is the dwelling? Where the where where does the dog live? Kennel. Kennel. Yes. For a cow. Shed. Shed. For a horse. stable okay now here in this lesson we see that this tiny raven is a orphan bird okay no one to help it's a very tiny uh, raven almost uh, shivering in cold and no one to help isn't it it is a deserted raven without anyone's help so now this lady took that uh, baby uh, crow and she took it home and she is really taking care of the crow and she is giving a name to the crow what is the name given to the crow charlie, charlie okay Thank you, Miss Angel. Thank you, children. It was nice to know that you children are taking care of pets. So I hope this lesson encourages you to take care of pets. And those who are not taking care of pets, I mean, hope this lesson will inspire you. Thank you, Miss Angel. It was lovely. All the projects done. Very inspiring. Thank you. We're moving on to grade six. This is Miss Shenas teaching English. Those are all the charts, the projects, the activities done by the students. all classes are air conditioned cctv cameras plus the smart boards to help the students to learn the various concepts better thank you children please be seated that is our cctv camera our fire extinguishers which are placed at the end of each corridor we now move on to grade 7 Good afternoon students. Good afternoon. This is our social science teacher, Mrs. Percy. Please introduce yourself, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir, madam. Uh, I'm Percy Rosely. I'm handling social science subject for grade seven. Please be seated, children. These are all the activities, the projects, the charts done by our students. the artwork done by our students few of our few uh, photographs of our students belonging to the yuva club last year they had gone on a visit to hyderabad they learnt a lot 
about tourism, the importance and significance of tourism for our country. At the end, at every corridor, in each corridor, we have our fire extinguishers and important emergency numbers for the fire, ambulance, police, the police station, hospital nearby. Drawings, paintings and pictures of our students. Instructions once again in each floor. All along the paintings of the children are put up to encourage the children. Once again here you have the fire extinguishers, the water hose. The notice boards put up. This is grade 9. We are just entering grade 9. This is the teacher. Can you kindly introduce yourself? Good afternoon, children. Can you take any lesson, please, ma'am? Please be seated. So, here we are just uh, getting on with the lesson tissues. So, as we all know, tissues, it is a next grade of things i mean from the cells we are just forming i mean everything forming as a tissues okay tissues put together it is called as what organ organ to organ system and then it is like an organism yes so just we were discussing about right like the division of labor so every organism has its own divisions i mean the labor the work that has to be done in the body as well as like two organisms living organisms it is like plants and animals so plant has different types of tissues and animals have different types of tissues so the first thing we will see about the plants okay the plants there are two types of tissues we're going to discuss about one is like meristematic tissue and the other one is permanent tissue okay so the meristematic tissues are called as dividing tissues so these tissues will divide okay only when they divide they will grow so this meristematic tissue is not present in all parts of the plant but there are like three specific regions over there okay one is the apical region the other one is the node i mean where the two twigs or the leaves that is connecting from the stem we call it to be as a nodes it's called as an intercalary intercalary meristems and the other one is like the lateral meristem okay which surrounds which is called as the girth of the plant or the cambium okay so that is what we are seeing here even in the smart board here yes the apical region the topmost region it is apical meristem which is the shoot apical wherever the growth is required so you, you all know children uh, does a root grow yes or no yes it does grows yes so do we need to have a meristematic tissue present over there yes of course yes plant doesn't grow only in the top region yes it also grows in the root region also so the meristematic tissue is present in the apical region this is the apex of the plant which is the top region and it is called as apical meristem okay and here from which the next leaves i mean this is a small plant over here there is another twig arising so what kind of tissue we will have here intercalary meristematic tissue okay so as this plant grows what will happen the breadth and the size of the plant will get increased yes so what type of tissue will be present over here it is lateral meristematic tissue yes and that is what given over here see the apical region and the root apical okay 
so obviously all these tissues will divide and then it will grow okay this is all about the meristematic tissue this is our computer lab this is our computer teacher please introduce yourself ma'am my name is hilda i am handling computer science for csi work global school and this is our computer lab here we have around 13 systems all systems are uh, fully equipped with the proper software and also all the systems are equipped uh, with the internet connection we teach them coding this is also our english lab where the children use this lab to improve their english coding is taught to the children we try to teach them the 21st century skills Thank you, Ms. Hilda. Thank you, ma'am. We now move on to grade ten. This is grade ten. This is the class teacher, Ms. Shalini. Good afternoon, children. Please be seated. Ms. Shalini, can you kindly introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Shalini. I'm handling classes, uh, maths teacher. I'm handling classes from grade seven to ten. Shall I take class? Yeah. Can you just teach any one simple concept, please? Okay. So, shall I tell you a short story? Okay. So, it was a thing whose birthday. So, everyone are eager for the birthday party. Everyone are eager to attend the birthday party, and uh, for the birthday party, they all will provide the. What cap is this? The birthday cap. Okay, so everyone had the birthday cap and they cut the cake. Okay, so what shape is this? What shape is this? Cone shape. Okay, and they cut the uh, birthday cake. It was in cylindrical shape. Sorry, I can't bring the birthday cake here. Okay, and some of the friends they offer the gift to the uh, Tinku. So, uh, so one of the best friend gave this rubric square. What shape is this? Cubic shape. And this one the pencil box what shape is this cylinder. cylinder it is the combination of two shapes can you find that cylinder. cone and cylinder okay so the lower part which is in the cylinder and the upper part which is in conical shape okay and one of the friend they offered a ball so they play the ball with it and they also play the shuttle racket what shape is this? what is the combination of two solids cone and sphere so the upper part which is in conical shape and the lower part which is in cylinder when i removed it can you see what shape is this hemisphere, hemisphere. okay so cone and hemisphere okay and they offered a juice to everyone like a sprite bottle what shape is this cylinder. cylindrical shape okay and uh, last class we all uh, the earlier classes we already learnt about csa tsa can you remember that what is csa Curved surface area. So curved surface area, CSA. Okay. Then TSA, total surface area. Total surface area is CSA, including the top area and the bottom area. So CSA, what is CSA of a cylinder formula? Can anyone tell? 2 pi r h. Yes, very good. Clap hands for uh, Leaner. 2 pi r into h, 2 pi r, which is the circle circumference of a circle is 2 pi r and h which is the height of the cylinder so 2 pi r into h and what is tsa of a cylinder 2 pi r h plus r h plus r how you got that h plus r what is the top area what is the top area circle bottom area circle what is area of a circle pi r pi r square so tsa which is 2 pi r h TSA including the surface area plus the top area and the bottom area. So top area plus bottom area. 
So CSA formula already we know that 2 pi r into h top area pi r, pi r square bottom area pi r square pi r square plus pi r square 2 pi r square. So 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. Then what is the common term? Only pi r is common, 2 is common, pi term is common, r term is also common. So we can take 2 pi r. What is the remaining term? H. H. The second part? R. R. So this is the way we got the formula for TSA of a cylinder. 2 pi r into H plus r. And what is the volume of the cylinder? Pi the capacity. The capacity which can hold is the base area into height. What is the base area? pi r square circle form so uh, area of a circle is pi r square and h is height so volume of the cylinder formula which pi is pi r square h thank, thank you students so this is all the projects the activities done by the students they have the smart board to help them learn the concepts better rooms are air conditioned all rooms are air conditioned CCTV is there to monitor the children. Thank you, children. These are our maths teachers, Ms. Shalini, Ms. Joyce and Ms. Diana. Please introduce yourselves and kindly explain what the children learn over here. We have the identities here, the algebraic identities, the formula. It's A plus B plus C, the whole square. So this is the formula. A square plus 2AB plus B square plus 2AC plus 2BC plus C square. So we rearrange this and make our students to arrange it and complete the formula. So A plus B plus C, the whole square identity. And here are some of the charts the students made, the types of the angles, spheres, the quadrilateral, types of quadrilaterals, the factor tree, these are the charts made by our students like art integrated activity and art activity. And these are some of the lab activities, the net diagrams. So when we combine all these shapes together, we will get a triangular prism, hexagonal prism. Can you fold it and show them? So this is the way the students will fold it and they will get this three-dimensional shape, the triangular prism, the hexagonal, pentagonal prism, the cuboid, cubes, are, these are the, some different shapes. And these are the abacus for the smaller classes. They will be learning the decimal place values and the place values for the hundreds, tens, thousands. They will be using this and they will learn. In primary classes and maths, they will learn the, about the time and the measurement, what they're using as a 50 ml, 100 ml, and the weight, they just use it for. And this is they use for the counting uh, blocks of tens, hundreds, and thousands, ones. And this, they will learn the solid shapes. What are the solid shapes we have? And uh, here we have a 2D shapes, 3D shapes, uh, fraction about the fraction. Using this kit, we are learn, we will teach the students to about the fractions. And here, we displayed all the uh, areas of a circle and are related to the areas. Thank you. Here we display the mathematicians Aryabhata, Ulysses, and Sri Ramanujam and Leo, Leo Hurt, Ulysses, 
and we just here place displayed the code of conduct what the children need to do inside the max lab and here just we displayed so many codes related to the max and here we displayed so many chart for just to describe uh, uh, just explain the concept about the each topic and here the main things we are displayed here the shapes and figures uh, regular polygon rectangle square rhombus etc and here the children made a, a pie chart uh, this for the uh, art activity we just made this children asked the children to make this and so many pie chart we displayed and uh, these are the bar graph the children made the 3d model and here the profit and loss model we primary kid just made this for just profit and loss and these are the portfolio for max we did it and these are the, our records So this is the lab record for the 9th and the 10th standard students. So these are the activities they did in the lab activity. The linear equations for two variables, trigonometric ratios, arithmetic progression and the tangent to a circle at a point. From the external point they have drawn and the similar triangles they did this activity for acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle, for right angle triangle. And this one is the stock register. What are the uh, kits we kept here? We wrote the list of the kits, the mathematics kits. And this was the lab attendance we maintain for the students. So weekly once the students will enter to the class and we will help them. By giving these activities, we will help them to understand the maths in an easy way. Thank you. Thank you, teachers. Activities. Now we move on to grade 8. Good afternoon, Good afternoon students. This is a teacher, Mrs. Hema Charles. Kindly introduce yourself and tell us what subject you teach. Please be seated, children. Thank you, ma'am. They have done a lot of activities, a lot of charts, projects. Is this a working model, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. And I think even that is a working model. Can the students kindly explain? Quickly, quickly explain the project. I'm Tasmin Noha of Grade 8, so I'm here to explain about hydraulic bridge. Hydraulic bridge is also known as a moving bridge. So the best example of hydraulic bridge is the London Bridge, located in London, UK. So the London Bridge opens up for the ship to pass through. After the ship passes, the London Bridge comes back to its original shape. The London Bridge is based on the mechanism of Pascal's law of force. Thank you. Thank you. It was a beautiful working model. Simple, but very informative. Thank you, students. This is the chart explaining the laboratory safety measures to be followed. This is our science club, the activities of our students. Now we move on to our composite science lab. 
we have our science teachers mrs sheba our biology teacher and ms jaren our chemistry teacher kindly explain our science lab is fully equipped with all the necessary things needed for the experiments kindly carry on explain we have categorized the science composite lab into three division the first one is biology on both the sides the second one is uh, physics on both the sides and the third one is chemistry so you can see the things the water supply and that's it and we have lot of things to display the charts and all the salts so we have kept the uh, different salts everything for the display here all the equipments and that's all thank you good morning actually i am a physics teacher i am mrs hema chal so i am handling physics here <laughs> The, in our school, we have enough apparatus for our children to do the practicals. It's a simple pendulum experiment, and this one is a uh, reflection through a glass slab. And then we have more experiments. This is an experiment for the verification of Ohm's law, and this one is a uh, light experiment. And this one is simple pendulum. biology uh, part of this composite lab and we have a human torso to explain all the physiological process and we have the specimens uh, both plants and animals and the slides to be displayed and we have all the equipments that uh, will be made arranged for the slide processes and here we also have the microscope where we have displayed one of the slide over here and this is all the uh, specimens of plants and animal kind and here we have the human skeleton displayed in the dna model over here thank you now moving on we have a drinking water area in each floor this is our drinking water beautiful wordings water is a gift from the creator protect it respect it this is our gents toilet for the boys this is our gents toilet board This is the wash basin for the boys the boys toilet we have our napkins once again here steps for washing their hands and instructions not to waste water we have our toilets Here, water. We have our hand spray. These are all our toilets for the boys.
a fire extinguisher in this flow also a water hose the beautiful paintings of our children this is our ro plant this is the aerial view of a basketball court where our students learn the various instrument we also have a school band you can see the instruments displayed there we teach them the drums the guitar the keyboard and the violin these are our music masters kindly introduce yourself sir um my name is jasper and this is franklin sir. Good evening. My name is Franklin, and I teach Western music here. My name is Jasper. Thanks. <laughs> Moving on. This is our indoor area. This is the place where our students play chess. a pt teacher along with our special master trainer will come to train our children for chess and caroms we come to our library this is our library and this is our librarian mrs nalini would like to greet the ic members welcome ma'am i am here. this is our library i am a librarian uh, in the lot of books many books there ma'am all the subjects books in there ma'am thank you ma'am our library is well equipped with story books according to the students age we have books for maths science computer science encyclopedia language general knowledge sports story books fiction books english social science and a number of reference books this is our art master who's just displayed some of the artwork of our students over here kindly you introduce yourself sir hello good afternoon this is our school draw drawings this is done by our school children this this is a handwork made by the head birds and this is the watercolor oil pastels hmm? this is the oil pastels work this is a watercolor work this is the black sheet with oil sheet, oil uh, pastels this is sunset they did by fifth standard boys there so many children that got prizes from the uh, camlin color contest last year the last year uh, last month we did some workshop in in our school thank you we purchase a number of newspapers both in english hindi as well as in tamil we purchase uh, newspapers both in english and tamil many books many newspapers for the students to go through thank you this is our pt room and this is our pt instructor this is danabagia yes sir my room. name is danabagia i'm physical education teacher uh, this is a stock register 
cupboard this is a uh, files this is for st stock register cupboards this is this cupboard for files or records uh, uh, journals records some children will going outside you know that records all ball basketball throw ball handball volleyball tennis courts skipping rope indian clubs dumbbells shot put frisbee ball discus throw carrom chess carrom cricket bat base bat hockey stick shuttle rockets the kids huddles cone the vision of our school and our mission of our school this is our generator This is our TT room. This is our first aid room, and this is our nurse. Kindly introduce yourself. Tell me your name. All the first aid equipment. name this is our counselor ishamli please introduce yourself that's me who's there very good afternoon ma i'm mrs shamili ma i'm working as a counselor here and i'm doing my special education also i'm there to help the students and advocate them to promote their behavior education level everything ma'am anything more thank you ma'am okay we now move on to our office these are our administrative staff ms deva priya ms amy ms telangelian and mrs bensi here we have all our records our accounts kept our lesson plans our uva clubs our club activities various club activities uva club literacy club the eco club the health and wellness club where we have up doctor parents coming and examining our students we also have our health certificates where general health and fitness is monitored and informed to the parents our seva projects our literacy club the eco club the science club the maths club 
and the Literacy Language Club and also the Heritage Club. These are all where the scheme of work, our planning is done for the year, the events recorded, our circular notebook and where our teachers undergo training and their certificates maintained. Our attendance registers, our mark registers, our quittance registers, everything is maintained in this office. Thank you for watching and being a part of our virtual school tour. The motto of our school is educate to empower. I along with my well experienced and ever willing to learn staff are committed to shaping young minds and creating confident personalities. I wish to say goodbye to all the IC members and the CBSC members who have been with us during the school virtual tour. Thank you once again.